Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the prescripts in the Postman. So let's begin. So the prescripts in the Postman are the scripts which will execute before your API request. You can use these scripts to execute or to set the dynamic values for your API request. Now let's take an example for this scenario. You are working on a project and you have an API which needs a dynamic parameter or the parameter which needs to be unique every time you execute that particular API. Now one way to do is that you can just go every time manually and change the value before you execute it. But this is not a good option. So now what will you do? You will create a pre-skit which will generate a dynamic value for your APIs and then API will take that para dynamic parameter and execute it. So in this way what happens is that whenever you execute an API, it will run with a unique dynamic parameter. Now you can see that the prescripts will execute before the API request and once your API request has been completed successfully then your test scripts will get executed. So this is the whole workflow of the Postman. Prescripts, API request and the test scripts. Now let's open the Postman and see this practically how we can write a prescript and how we can utilize the output of that script into the API request. Now what will we do in the Postman? So I'm, I have actually write down the steps so that you can understand the whole process for doing it. So first we need to open an instant web tools.net and we will copy a passenger, create passenger API. We will use that API here in the Postman first. Then what will we do is that we will write a pre skit which will set the environment variable. Once we will do that, we will generate a dynamic value for this particular request. After generating a dynamic value, we will use that dynamic value to our API request. So now uh, open this URL, just copy this URL, open the browser, open this URL, click on the fake REST API. Here we need to find a create passenger API. This is the API. Copy the URL. Go back to the postman. Click on new request. Provide the URL. Change a method to the post. Now what will we need is that we need a body for this request. Go back to the documentation. And just click on this drop down arrow. Here is the body, sample body for this API request. Copy this one. Go back to the postman. Go to the body section. Click on raw. Select JSON. Paste the body. And just click on the send. Now this API is correctly working here. Now assume that this API will take a dynamic or unique name every time when you execute this API. Okay, so what will we do is that we'll go to the pre skips. Okay, here you have to write pm dot environment dot need to find a set method here. Here it is, and it will take two arguments here. The first will be the name of that variable. So I am saying it as passenger name. Okay. Then what I need is that I need a random uh, value for this particular va variable. Okay. So here in JavaScript, there is a very common and very good method which is called as a math math dot random so write math dot and you will find a random here just scroll down a bit or you can just type you'll find it out and close the brackets now uh, this math dot random will generate a random value so first, what we need to do is that we need to define the range for the random numbers, okay? So what I will do is that I will multiply this by, let's suppose, 10,000. So now 
what it will do is that it will generate a random number here and set the value for the passenger name okay now just click on the i button here you see that we don't have a passenger name variable and no value is being set here okay now just click on send button it got executed successfully but there's no change in the name as of now just click on this i button again here you can see that now you have a passenger variable with some value now what i need to do is that i need a integer instead of this decimal or fl float value okay so for that i need to parse this whole area okay so what i will do is that i will close with the small brackets here and use parse integer parse integer okay now execute this again just go back to the i button now here you can see that there is an integer value okay but the problem here is that we need um, a proper name okay so what i will do here is that i will concatenate a string with this random number so i'm taking testing funda as a string i will concatenate it with this integer random integer number now click on send now again click on this i button here you can see that now the value is testing funda and some random number so whenever i execute this one it will generate a random name with some integer value and it will be dynamic every time now okay just click once more here and see the value yes now you have a different value here now we have successfully generated a dynamic value for the name okay now what we need to do is that we need to pass this value in our body to make sure that every time we execute this api it will take a new or unique name okay so for this i need to copy this variable name and go to the body here in the body what you need to do is that you need to provide double curly braces and it automatically sets the closing brackets here here i need to provide a variable name just click here and provide the variable name okay now i'm saving this request i'm uh, creating a new collection i'm calling it as a pre script okay and i'm saving this request in the pre script now um, just execute this api here you can see that the name is testing funder 65 this is a unique again click on send now you have seen a different value here again click on the send button and you will find a unique value every time okay so this is how you can utilize the pre-scripts in your api request and you can generate a dynamic value for your body headers or maybe you might need a dynamic value here in the url as well so that's how you can write a script generate a value and utilize in your test scripts thank you so much for watching this tutorial see you in the next lecture